The last part of your end behavior practice is dealing with word problems. Now, we don't usually talk about the end behavior of word problems, so I just wanted you to get a little extra practice on deciding if your word problems are linear or exponential, increasing or decreasing, and then getting that equation. So first of all, just a reminder of the basic format of your linear and exponential functions. If you've got a linear, the basic format is f of x equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the beginning amount or the beginning point. For an exponential, your basic format is f of x equals a times b to the x, where a is your beginning amount and b is your multiplier. So let's just look at a couple of examples. So here's our first example. You join a fitness center that charges a membership fee of $50, then it costs $24 a month to use the gym. So first I need to decide if this is a linear or exponential function. Well, I'm looking at it and it's telling me that it's costing $24 each month to use the gym. That's $24 increasing and it's just adding on $24 every month. So since it's adding, that's a constant rate of change, which means I'm dealing with a linear equation. Then I want to know if it's increasing or decreasing. Well, that's easy. It's going up $24, so I've got an increasing. Then for the equation, I'm thinking of my basic linear equation of f of x equals mx plus b. So first of all, I'm going to try and put the m in. The m is the slope. That's the rate of change. It's changing by $24 every month. So I have f of x equals 24x. And then the b is the beginning amount. It charges $50 just to join, so plus 50. Here's a second example. You bought a new laptop this year for $800. The value of the computer will depreciate at the rate of 29% per year. So I'm looking at this one, linear or exponential, it's going down by 29% every year. So that right there, because it's a percentage, that's not a constant rate of change. It's going to be an exponential function. Then increasing or decreasing, the word depreciate means to lose value to go down, so that means this is a decreasing. Then for the equation, I know my basic format is f of x equals a times b to the x. a is my beginning amount, so I know it's going to start out as f of x equals 800 and then times. Now to get my b, I'm going to deal with the 29% but I have to do a little something to it. The first thing is to take the 29% and change it to a decimal. So move the decimal two places to the left, 0 0.29. Then you have to take that 0 0.29 and either add it to one or subtract it from one. Since it's depreciating or decreasing, I need to take one and subtract off the 0 0.29. That equals 0 0.71 and that becomes my multiplier. So 0 0.71 to the x. So just a reminder on how to write equations for linear and exponential functions. Uh, good luck with the rest of your assignment.